Bitcoin prices fell to less than $40.00 a day, consistently fluctuating south of that level and reaching their lowest in roughly two weeks. The world's most prominent digital currency dropped below $40.00 around 9.30 a.m. EST, before declining to as little as $39.477. 09 around 11 a.m. EST, Coindesk figures show. This latest downward movement took place after the cryptocurrency fell sharply yesterday, suffering its largest intraday loss since January 21. After depreciating to its recent low of $39.477. 09, Bitcoin bounced back, surpassing $40.400 in less than an hour, but once again moved lower, repeatedly reaching points below $40.000. Ednote, investing in crypto coins or tokens is highly speculative and the market is largely unregulated. Anyone considering it should be prepared to lose their entire investment. Global political uncertainty When describing Bitcoin's recent price weakness, several experts highlighted how political uncertainty affected the markets. Ben McMillan, CIO at IDX Digital Assets, spoke to these developments, describing yesterday's downward price movement as largely a technical sell-off on the back of continued uncertainty about Ukraine as well as the president's executive order on crypto regulation. Ben Armstrong, founder of BitBoy C. Key technical levels in addition to shedding light on what caused Bitcoin's recent price movements. Several experts provided technical analysis, outlining key levels of support and resistance that Bitcoin might encounter. Nick Mancini, research analyst at crypto sentiment data provider Trade the Chain, spoke to this matter. Bitcoin technical analysis shows key liquidity levels at $38. $737.000, meaning there is a lot of buy interest at those levels. If Bitcoin is unable to hold $40.000, it is likely to test those levels into the weekend. Brett Seifling, an investment advisor for Gerber Kawasaki Wealth and Investment Management, also contributed input. I think there are two major levels to watch out for on the downside. The first level is the low from this current correction, which bottomed on January 24 just under $33.000, he stated. Another major level would be around $30.000, which has served as a major support level since early 2021.